into immediately trying to get out um, of the grab. Because uh, that, that's his general strategy in neutral. Is just... If, uh, if he can, like, mix it up on him, it, it looks like it, I know uh, Stock in the show was about a bit. Not too much, but he has his trouble. Oh! I know. But yeah, he uh, appears to be getting a couple of quick hits in. That's good. Um, not, it's not like he's coming in with optimal dares, uh, or not dares, um, down throw yeah. combo chains. However, he's still keeping it fairly even. He has been doing better since he joined, I will say. Yeah, uh, no, Zeke. He, uh, he came in with no competitive experience whatsoever. And given that he doesn't play Smash that often, he's doing pretty well. He can play outside of it. Not too much. Yeah. It's always a possibility. Ooh, barely missing the up air. I, I think he uh, he needed to dash just a little bit before uh, following up. Just so you can, like, That's the same way how... Air. Yeah, that's how beep boop is. Because their horizontal aerial velocity isn't really that high, um, they need to dash just a little bit before jumping up at up air. Quick read with the, uh, the F smash, though. Yeah. Ooh. That, that would've been the grab, but yep, okay. There it is. What was that, a spot dodge you read? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he, he spot dodged and it's not gonna just, like, shoot it in a second. So that's the situation, and then just went for it. That's something I'm seeing Stock Image try to alter in his playstyle a little bit more. He's, he's delaying his aerials and his, his attacks just a little bit. Um, perhaps as a result of playing more with I mean, I'm kind of curious, actually. But um, I've seen his neutral be a little bit more delayed strategically. But he's still spacing out with quick aerials and stuff like that to pressure, which is a, a good habit because it keeps him on the toes. I have to move. Thirty percent. It's doable. That's a thing, especially with Mario. He can just down throw. F I think down throw F throw or F air would actually be true at this point. But it's just a matter of him getting that. Oh, see, that's yep. what I mean. Like yeah. the delay. Yep. He uh, just barely missed the, uh, the punish. The oh. <laughs> He's going for some fancy stuff. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh, the stage spike. Yep, I that was uh, semi untackable. Good job. I don't know uh, if he intended to do that on purpose, but if he did, that was pretty dope. Game one goes to Zeke. Overall, it was pretty good neutral, though. Um, they, were, they were keeping it pretty neck and neck. Um, if I were to offer any suggestions, I think it would be to throw out more spaced aerials from um, Zeke, just some short hop airs, something to throw out there in addition. To be honest, uh, part of the part of what a lot of people like fear is like healing up Lucas, but I feel like if you actually throw it in, it delays the. I, I've heard, I don't know if it's true. I heard it delays the drawback of it by putting it out. So if they didn't just run up grab, it could actually lead into like them uh, get, getting a uh, getting Lucas off stage. So you can, uh, get Lucas off stage. Yeah, Lucas off stage is uh is pretty predictable. He's only got two options really, where he's got the really long charge up on Piki yep. Thunder, or he's got the uh, the tether grab, which is easy to punish. Uh, Sakovich coming in with some pretty heavy pressure to start off. I mean, only netting 15% out of it, but he's getting in the head. And he's just got him on platform advantage for a little bit. Yeah, I think he, he's a little bit of over-aggression out of Lucas. He's probably trying to ride the wave of just uh, over-pressuring so they make defensive mistakes. Ooh, coming in with a missed cape. I don't, I don't know what that was there. Uh, mystery probably? Uh, I want to say it was probably more a miss input, but I don't know what he would have gone for if it was one. So, um, I don't know. I, I think it's tough to say. Stuff the boards, mostly. Yeah, a couple of... He, he, he throws out a lot of quick panic options, which is good, but he's not optimizing on the damage he could be getting out of them. Like, if he jab one to grab, he could be getting a lot more, for example, instead of just jab two. So, okay. Quick landing catch with the, uh, the F smash. Textbook. Now you can see he's really he's kind of gonna be fishing for these grabs real quick while he's at low damage, because he wants these um, the, the, the down throw there. Uh, it's not a jab block at zero, but yeah, he's got nair. Okay, normally he follows up nair with uh, down air so he can try and re grab again. Oh yeah. Ooh. Up smash covered behind him anyway. 
looking much more convincing this game. There it is. Game two, going to stock image. Out of that one, um, I want to say the defensive pressure from uh, Lucas kind of got to him. Um, some of those quick aerials I mentioned as of last match probably would have helped him to even out the pace a little bit to keep Lucas from just wildly aggressing like that. Um, spacing is really an important thing to master with Mario because he's so short and he has no disjoints. Um, he really has to get either really close or just barely keep you out of his range in order to be effective so that way he can come in with a uh, fireball grab or maybe um, cancel dare grab, stuff like that. I know a lot of his combos also rely on uh, landing up air, stuff like that, where he can be throwing out uh, just small hitboxes. Like for example, that uh, that short hop bear was pretty good there. I, I'm not seeing a lot out of it um, from Zeke's perspective. Though. Oh wow, I'm surprised the Zare actually clanked through Fireball and kept going. I do agree with the the pick of Battlefield for Mario's advantage though. Greedy yeah. with the up smash. If he, if he can just uh, like down throw and like, try to jump him through this, through the platform, I could, I could like even things out a bit right now. See, like, that was one of those areas where I feel like he probably could have optimized more. He, yeah. he, instead of rolling, I mean, he did wind up getting the up smash out of it, but at the same time, he could have easily done what you said, just uh, the grab to down throw yeah. up air, up air, nair, up yeah. air, up air, or whatever. And Mario shenanigans, you know? Yeah. Nifty little spot dodge there, though. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Yikes. He taunt. Okay. Yo, taunting a body? Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Zeke. We believe in you. That's Textbook damage. Oh. That, He's going that, for the bear. I, I feel like if he uh, reverses for his third mm -hmm. nair there, he probably would have had it on the same. Those are like the, the one, one that comes with the smash board. Where, uh, things just sort of like line up perfectly. Yeah. I feel like he was going for a bear there as well. See, this this offensive pressure is what uh, Zeke's really having trouble dealing with. He's got to learn to control the pace better. And given Mario's tools are pretty bad at controlling the pace, because again, he's short, he doesn't have disjoints, he doesn't have very many effective uh, shield tools, he, he can't do much in terms of uh, negating offensive pressure himself. However, he can dictate the pace by offensively pressuring on his own. Um, especially with Lucas, because it's another character with the same weakness of not having disjoints and not being a big character. I, I want, I'm inclined to say that Mario has the, the frame data advantage as well. Of like a Mario oh. or, um, where, uh, where they sort of just wait for uh, Lucas to, to make a mistake or miss input. Yeah. And just go in for the grab and put on some percent, some some bread and butter percent. But not, either way, it's still like getting them to the point where they need 